सबसे पहले नजर डालते हैं अब तक की बुलेटिन जी बिल्कुल बिहारी में पानी के मसाइल बारे जानने और उनके हल के लिए बैन अवी आर्गनाइजेशन पी यू एम एक प्रोजेक्ट पर काम कर रही है जिसके रहनमा प्रोफेसर हांस ने मुस्लिम लीग के रहनमा मियां इमरान दुल्ताना के हमरा सहाफ़ियों से गुफ्तु करते हुए कहा कि बिहारी में जेर ज़मीन का लेवल दिन ब दिन नीचे जा रहा है जिसकी वजह से ये आलूदा होता जा रहा है जबकि इसकी ट्रीटमेंट और उसे महफूज करना वक्त की ज़रूरत है इसी वजह से ये प्रोजेक्ट शुरू किया गया है जिसका मकसद इलाके में पानी के मसाइल बारे जाम रिसर्च की जाए और लोगों को इस बारे आगाही दी जाए और उन्हें इस मकसद के लिए अपने साथ शामिल किया जाए ये एक तवील मुद्दती मनसूबा है जिसको मुकम्मल करने पर कई साल लग सकते हैं उन्होंने कहा कि चंद दहाइयों पहले बिहारी में वाटर लेवल तीस से चालीस था जो अब बढ़कर सौ फुट से भी ज़्यादा हो गया है आंदा चंद साल में इसमें ख़तरनाक हद तक इजाफा हो जाएगा इसके लिए ज़रूरी है कि हम सब से पहले पानी का ज़िया रोकें उनका कहना था कि सैवरे के पानी का ट्रीट करके हम काबिल इस्तेमाल बना सकते हैं लेकिन इस बारे माशरे में आगाही बहुत ज़रूरी है बारिश के पानी को भी काबिल इस्तेमाल बनाने पर काम किया जा रहा है उन्होंने मज़ीद कहा कि प्लास्टिक की बोतलें भी आलूदी का बड़ा जरिया है हम प्लास्टर प्लास्टिक को घरों दफातर और हर जगह इस्तेमाल करते हैं इसको रिसाइकिल किया जा सकता है मुस्लिम लीग नून के रहनमा मियाँ इमरान दुल्ताना ने गुफ्तु करते वे कहा कि पानी के इन मसाइल को हल करने के लिए माशरे के हर फर्द को करदार अदा करना होगा लेकिन सबसे अहम करदार तलीमी इदारों तलब तलबात और मीडिया का है हमें इस बारे शूर उजागर करना है स्टूडेंट के रिसर्च वर्क को काबिल अमल बनाने बनाते हुए माशरे में बेहतरी लाना है उन्होंने कहा कि सियासी वाबस्तगी से दरकना माशरे का हर फर्द बेहतरी की कोशिश करे ताकि हम आने वाले क्राइसिस का मुकाबला कर सकें इस मौके पर प्रिंसिपल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन लाहौर विहारी कैंपस प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर शेख इसरार अहमद जिले कोआर्डीटर मुस्लिम लीग नून साहबजादा अब्दुल सतार भट्टी सिटी सदर शेख अब्दुलरहमान तहसील सेक्रटरी अतलात चौधरी मोहम्मद फयाज जिले सदर एपका मोहम्मद तैयब भट्टी व दीगर भी मौजूद थे On the on the second thing, we look at the treatment issues themselves. You have treatment uh, wastewater treatment in several areas here in the city, and we will focus on Luden. In Luden, there is one area where we will add aeration to the treatment system, so that the quality of the water coming out of the treated water system will be in at such a level that it is either fit for direct irrigation. Or maybe for injection to the groundwater level. So that is, let's say, the main. This I've tried numerous other places where I've tried to get. I tried to get help from Germany. I tried to get help from um, experts sitting in out of the country. But um, and I've already worked with them in hospitality line, so I know the level of commitment there. And only then, after trial and testing, did I request them to come back again. because again you see we can't have people who who are not traceable who are not reachable we need people who are there who who are as committed to these projects as us so we are very grateful to pom and we are very grateful to mr hans to be here and to to look at he has gone through he's been with me for the last 5 6 days now 5 days 5 days and i i i have to show you i have not seen so many pits and so many disposals and so much garbage and so much i have not smelled so much uh, stink as he has honored me with in vihari and uh, because you know you get used to things and and now we are slowly getting to a position to start off from one side it's it, we've taken 70 years to reach here we'll take probably 20 30 years to get out of it but we have to start somewhere and that is the purpose thank you sir i'm here in the in pakistan on behalf of pum pum is a government organization part of the ministry of international affairs in the netherlands and they recruit a number of like myself 1600 experts that are young retired experts meaning that they volunteer to still work but then not being paid what the, the ministry pays is our travel So I'm here on behalf of uh, Imran. Let's say the local government has invited through the international system us to provide an expert in the water sector 
So I work in the water sector and uh, I'm very, very happy to be here the first time in Pakistan, but having worked in various countries in the neighborhood like Afghanistan and India. So I'm not unfamiliar with the system. Um, my speciality is groundwater. So I'm very interested in the groundwater management issues. So here you have a lot of groundwater issues because the groundwater resources are depleting. I've heard that uh, not in, in the recent past, so let's say two generations ago, groundwater levels were, let's say, at hand pump rate, rate so only 30, 40 feet. Nowadays, it goes down to maybe 250 or even more feet. And in the future, with climate change, that should become even more. So we have to be very careful of how to use our groundwater resources. Now, in the project PAM is uh, trying to identify, we see in, in a pilot project that would... From taking the sample of water from Bihari, and sorry to say, our Bihari water has a lot concentration of arsenic that is very dangerous, highly poisonous. And second, my paper was from uh, district to see. So your uh, question that no one is working, I want to clarify that University of, <laughs> Education, <laughs> University of Education, Vihari campus, is already working on this project and in near future i request the professor william mr imran that when you launch this project this mega project for the people of the community of the bihari then we stand with you thank you yeah. for thank this you. noble cause that is understand that uh, some of you are already taking water from that depth and we've seen that the quality of the water especially the i seen at the deeper levels, the arsine level is higher. So your lower groundwater levels um, are more depleted in arsine. Uh, this is what I hear. I mean, uh, of course, I have not seen it, but that's what I hear. So you must be very careful with your water resources, your, uh, your groundwater resources, because they are depleting. And we know because of climate change, the amount of water coming from the glaciers and the snow is becoming less. I think there is a uh, awareness. <laughs>